What's up guys and welcome back to another FIFA 16 Ultimate Team Player Review and we are looking at Inform Raphael today. Now this card went under the radar a little bit seeing as Lewandowski did take the spotlight with that hero card but I knew I wanted to try him. He's cheap, he looks awesome and if you do enjoy the review today please support the video by dropping a like and if you are needing Ultimate Team Coins to afford him check out FIFAUltimateTeamCoins.com they are now instant with delivery so make sure to use the code Fuji for a discount and if you're needing game codes then head over to G2A or also so use the code Fuji on that site. But we're ready for the review. Let's do it. So if you did watch my earlier video today of my overpowered squad, then you would have seen I was using the 4-2-3-1 formation. Well, I've used it again in this review. And Raphael, whoo -hoo, well, I actually started Raphael as a, a center forward in a false nine, and it didn't work at all. Brought him back to the 4-2-3-1 as a cam. You wait for these clips. But anyway, the stats on his card, 75 pace, 78 shot, 84 passing, 86 dribbling, which is awesome, 43 defending, and 70 physical. So pretty nice stats for an 82 rated card. Uh, I, in fact, played six games, scoring 11 goals. A few of those were penalties, yeah. But oh, the, the quality of goals that I've scored in his dribbling is, oh, is awesome. But 87 dribbling, 85 curve. His finesse shots are brilliant. Like left foot, I actually thought he was left footed for a while. And I thought this last year as well, just because his weak foot is so good. Definitely would rate that five star weak foot, without a doubt. Like the goals I've been scoring with it, uh, I don't see why not. But yeah, his balance, his agility, his dribbling, his short passing. He has some really, really nice stats. And I pay 20,000 coins. Before I ruin it, that's the best 20,000 coins that I've spent so far on FIFA. But we are ready for the clips. If you need to pause the video to check his stats, please do. And let's go. So someone asked me last night who my favorite player was on FIFA 16, like in form wise that I've tried. And here we are. In form, Raphael. What a card. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how well he was playing for an 82 rated like player. What a card, man. So his dribbling is not like the best that I've used, but he just uh, seems to do enough to get past or worm his way through and open it up for like a finesse shot with his left or right. Like his finesse shots are probably his speciality. Such a good finesser of the ball. And he pretty much scores like nine out of 10. Like long shot wise, he's really temperamental. I wouldn't really recommend doing that. But if you can get him inside the box, which he does like pop up now and again, then he's going to be scoring a lot of goals for you. Like you can see my record with him and you can see what I'm doing with him on the pitch like that is what he's capable of but as an actual cam I don't feel that he supports the play as well as he should do because uh, he's a very attack minded he wants to get in the box and I quite like that but if you're someone that does maybe play a lot through the cam then um, then yeah maybe he's not going to be the player for you but you can even play him a striker but I wouldn't recommend that because again he's not the tallest he's not the strongest but Oh, wow. I've had a lot of fun with him. And yeah, he's just a, he's just a very, very cheap player to use. And it's the best 20,000 coins that I've spent so far on FIFA 16. So if you like what you see, please do drop a like. And let me know in the comment section uh, if you want me to review any other players from the team of the week. But I've actually given him an 8 out of 10. The reason why I haven't given him a 9 or 10 is because he's not as well-rounded as other players. Like, he hasn't got height. He hasn't got really great strength. So I think an 8 out of 10 is fair. But value for coins, without a doubt, 10 out of 10. Really, really fun player. So yeah, hopefully. Hopefully you've enjoyed the review and I will see you Team Fuji on the next one. Take it easy. Peace.